why we skip the small talk, eh? Major Morris, Mr. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. no. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just... I... Mm. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. 
Oh, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's go, girl. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Indeed. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? 
I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold up. He's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's taken ill. Where is she? Where is she? Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with.
good? Wouldn't go that far. The cab's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. How much is Sean's man? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Still time. Put this asshole in the ground. Let's get Sean and get out of here. Are you going to get me down from here? Hey, someone cut this rope! Me head's killing me! Will one of you help me out here?
You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. <clears throat> well, I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Oh, my glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has him? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? All right, lead the way. So how'd you find him? You said he was going hunting? Never returned. I was able to track him pretty easily. But only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're inside again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? On foot from here. Take out your position. Hey, you idiots ever hear a Dutch's boys? You're gonna pay for this. You have no idea what hell is coming your way. We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> into this son of a bitch. Oh, hey. Let's take him into town and collect on the bounty. Give us some money. Won't be long before you'll be tucked up in a nice warm cell. Then you can talk all you want. Shoot up! Thanks, Javier. I owe you for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Uh, what's next?
Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. 
course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Watch out! Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. What the hell, Arthur? <laughs> so what were you talking about before? Me? You're the one who's been out... ...gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Yeah! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over distract them by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house find what you can and then get the stagecoach what do you think let's do it now all right 
I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Yep. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Slow it down a bit. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Whoa, Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> 